Hey, in this video, we'll be replacing this worn winch hook with this Factory 55 flat link, and we'll be going through why this is better for a closed loop recovery. Let's get started. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, today we're gonna to be replacing this factory hook for recovery that came with the worn winch. In this case, we're using the Evo 10, and we're going to be moving to the Factory 55 flat link. This is, uh, has a 16,000 pound capacity and has a failure point at about 40,000. Uh, it weighs about a pound and a half, and it's about 1.7 inches thick. I paid $141 for this on Amazon. It's good value. It, it, does this not work? No, it works fine. It has a few failure points in it and it, it doesn't actually fit on the, the entry point here on the worn winch as, as well as it could. Let's talk about the failure points. I want I wanted to move personally to closed link recovery or, or closed link uh, winching as they, as they call it as well. We'll get into that in a minute. I've got everything set up here below uh, with our recovery straps as, as well as a shackle. But um, the other thing that I was concerned about is this does have some failure points. This can fail. If you get into where you have some slack, or uh, you come up and uh, get some slack in the line, it can actually get caught in here. It can actually rub on your synthetic lines. So I wanted something a little bit more robust, but also, and also looked really good. <laughs> so in that case, the factory, uh, Factor 55 flat link is exactly what I was looking for. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna quickly install. It is a very easy install. This is gonna be a very short video. First things first, let's get this hook off. It's just basically, we'll just straighten this out and it'll pop right out. All right, this is out now. We'll just pull the pin and this is out. That might be the fastest uninstallation of something I've ever done. So this is also just as simple. This has got one bolt in it and it's held in by a C-clip. And it goes inside of here and then this is the hole that we'll be using for our recovery. And when I mean C-clip, I mean this. You need a special pair of pliers or you can kind of you can kind of make it work but in this particular case we're going to put this in here like so we're going to put our clip in and then and then we're going to put our c-clip in so we'll go ahead and get our pliers get our get them aligned put them in like so all right now that our factory link 55 is actually installed we got the c-clamp built into there it's flat on this side there's no entries and there's open on this side so when we want to have it go back into the winch with its pull forward. And look how nice that is. If we look, this is completely flush. Now they do make a cover that goes over this right here, which I did order, it just hasn't gotten here. So it'll protect the synthetic string or rope from any UV fraying. But this thing looks great. I mean, versus having this thing sitting here and it was hanging, it was actually denting things as well. So this is a very nice flat, very professional. I really like it. And again, if we just want to pop it out, pull out a little bit of cable here. All right, let's talk about the concepts of closed loop winching and why this is better, closed loop recovery. So this, basically, if you have a D-ring or any kind of strap, you would put this in there and it would be and you would have a potential failure point right here. When you're looking at a fully closed loop system, in this particular case, we've got two end straps to a recovery strap, and it is completely sealed and screwed in, and that is a closed loop system. If we take this shackle and do exactly what it's meant to be done, and that is feed it right in to our factory 55 flat link here, and put it in here we now have a fully closed looped system there are no areas of failure we got four uh, greater than 40,000 pounds of pressure here to break this this is this is a very strong shackle that's a three-quarter shackle and then we've got our rope here recovery rope that we got from Jeep that came with it probably gonna be replacing that but that's what I got right now and so this is a fully enclosed system once we've recovered we just pull our shackle out like like so we've got our guy down here Again, we want this to be on bottom so no water gets in there and we'll just retract it up we got a nice snug fit 
And that's all she was. Hey, if you like this kind of content that we're providing, please click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get up uh, above a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. And click that bell to be notified of new content. Thanks again for your time. 